The first trick we're going to be looking at is a simple one, and it's going to involve your iPhone's camera as well as your headphones. Similar to using the audio rocker on the iPhone to take a picture, if you press the plus audio rocker on the headphones, it'll go ahead and snap a picture. Next up we have the built-in dictionary on the iPhone. Now if you didn't know, the iPhone comes standard with this and it's available to you whenever you need it. So rather than going on Google and searching for the word you're confused about, simply tap and hold on the word. When the boxes appear, tap on define and the dictionary will pop up with the definition. The next trick we're going to be looking at involves the iPhone's lock screen. Now most of us probably know if you swipe up from the little camera icon it'll open the camera application. But a couple of lesser known features from the lock screen here are the double tapping of the home button to access your volume capabilities as well as holding the home button and you can access Siri straight from your lock screen. The next trick we're going to be looking at involves the iPhone's keyboard and specifically the hidden characters within it. To access them, all you need to do is tap and hold on a specific letter, slide across, and when you've selected the letter you want, release and it'll appear on your page. Now you can also do this within the numbers section as well. For example, if I tap and hold on the dollar sign, you'll see a box with different characters appears again. The next trick involves disabling native apps from your iPhone. So as you can see on my main page here, I've got iTunes and Safari. So we're going to go into the settings tab here. You want go down to general and then you want to go to restrictions. You want to tap enable and you're going to need to enter in your password twice. Once you've done that you can see you can disable various native apps. You can't disable all of them but I do show you in another video using a trick which will allow you to delete other apps like weather and newsstand. So if you want to do that check that out on my channel. But for this case here we can delete iTunes and we can delete or disable Safari. And If we go back to our main page here you can see that both of them are gone. The next trick I'm going to show you how to change the name of your iPhone. So you need to go into the settings application, go to general and then go to the about section. Now at the top it says name and mine's called Dan iPhone for some reason. So we'll go ahead and tap on that, and you can change it to whatever you want, so we'll call it Dan Cell. Then hit done to save it, and you've changed the name of your iPhone. Anyway guys, hopefully you found these tips helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, share this video with anybody you think would find it helpful. If you have any other tips, leave them in the comments down below. It'll help everybody out. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next one.